Hi guys, so uh, I will address an issue that is already open for about a an year and uh, basically it's the bug that after you hide something on your dashboard and after a reboot it's still there. So it's not a solution, it's really actually a hack. Uh, I'm overwriting the CSS of the website in order to hide the specific uh, sensors that I want, don't want to see. So I will show you my brewery. Okay, so I have a uh, under the sensor section, it's, I have one, two, three, four, five, six sensors, and I marked the kettle sensor and the pilot sensor as hide on dashboard. So, um, but they're still here because I made a reboot and they appear again. So there is an option to hide them, not in the, not underneath the hardware settings, but you need to edit the index file, which is located. If this is my Pi, I will go to the folder of the Crafty Pi Free, and then I will uh, click on the module. UI, static, and I need to edit the index HTML file. And index.html, I will uh, open it with a text editor. And I will need to add some uh, code here in this file. But I will show you this not actually on my, uh, I will show you here. So basically, this is the file as you get it after you install the Pi, uh, the crappy Pi. You need to look for the head tag. You see, it's between line, uh, the third line and 15th line. You need to add another tag inside. It's line 14, I'm making a break, and then I write style. Style, I close the tag. Okay, and then between those tag, uh, the opening tag and, uh, and closing tag, I'm going to add a few lines. So you can copy paste them from my solution. Okay, and basically just telling the, just telling the I'm telling the just a second. Okay, I'm telling the browser to ignore or hide specific elements in this section of the sensor. So I'm writing the full description or pointing the browser to this exact element, which is this is number three. This is the area of the sensor. That I will show you. This is the first area. This is the second area, and this is the third area of the sensor. So I'm not pointing the browser to the third section, and now this is the uh, pointing of the specific. Um, specific sensor. So I want to change, I want to hide the first one, the n8th child number one, and I'm adding comma, I'm writing again the, the uh, pointing, and I'm adding number six. Okay, so the first one and the last one, which is the sixth element, the bio sensor and library, I want to hide them. Okay, now I'm opening, uh, I'm writing the rules, I'm, I'm writing this way none, and that's all. Now I'm going to save it. Okay, I'm going to save the HTML file. So I'm going to save it here in my actual brewery. I will change it to six. Save. And then I'm going to reload the brewery page, and we'll see that I'm not uh, okay. Uh, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I didn't write it this way. None. Save. And now it will work. Reload. Okay. Now you don't see anymore the uh, first and the sixth elements, but if I'll inspect my code. Of the brewery. Just a second. Okay, so if I inspect the code, it's still there. You see, the first one and the sixth one are here in the code, but they're not displayed. The display, I can, I can remove it, and then you will see. It. So, this is not a solution. This is like a hack that I found that I can manipulate the interface with CSS when I inject it inside the index file, inside the UI static folder. Actually, this is the file that you can make many manipulations with CSS, you can change your logo, uh, manipulate different things in the page as well if you're mastering CSS, so you're welcome to try and hack your interface. Remember, if you want to go roll back to the previous uh, previous uh, version, you just need to go and replace all the lines that you added in the CSS, um, and uh, it will return back to the factory uh, setting. Thanks for watching, I will post the code or the section of the code that I added here underneath this post and go on.